Yo, what's up, Team Handsome Guy? It's your boy Ryan again, back here with another YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys about warm weather traveling, outfits to get you through um, tropical climates and resort wear and boat wear and lounge wear. And basically, if you're taking a trip and it's going to be freaking hot as hell, I got you covered. Keep watching. All right, so if you're getting ready to take a trip or you kind of get confused when you're taking a trip and you're going to places like Miami, like Key West, um, Costa Rica, Thailand, places where it's like really, really, really hot. A lot of guys get all messed up. They don't know what to pack. They don't know how, what to wear. And they revert back to wearing tank tops and cargo shorts. This is the video for you. This is going to stop that. Now, the reason I'm making this video is I'm actually getting ready. If you're watching this video, it's Tuesday night at 7 p.m. If you haven't noticed, I've started a consistent uploading schedule of Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday night at 7 p.m. Eastern. So check back there for all the new videos from me. And I'm getting ready to head to the Keys, which uh, the Florida Keys, which is Key West, which is a very, very tropical place. It's like basically sits on the freaking equator. It's hot as hell. It's like right now, I think it's like 94 degrees. So it's just super duper hot. These are what I'm going to bring down there. And this is like universal for Miami. This is universal for just really, really hot like resorts. Um, like any tropical type of place you're gonna go, where you're gonna be in the sun a lot, you're gonna be lounging on the beach, you're gonna be walking around hotels, like resort cruises. This is how you do that with style. So enough rambling, let's get right to it. I got 10 items that I believe will make up your entire wardrobe and here they go. All right, so item number one you're gonna need is a versatile pair of swim trunks. And when I say versatile, I'm talking a pair of swim trunks that are not real baggy that you could wear a shirt and they still look like tailored shorts so that you can wear them while you're in the water while you're on a boat while you're sitting on the beach while you're sitting at a beach bar and basically they cover this entire spectrum and you really only need one maybe two pairs max depending on how long you're going for my trip to the keys is only for two days so it's a really quick trip and most people's trips are fairly quick if not but if it's still longer just grab a couple more pairs and the, the pair of shorts that i really like is these from Miles Apparel. They're actually a workout short, or they call it an everyday short. Real stretchy material, waterproof. If you get them wet, it's got the web pockets so the pockets drain. I've been talking about these a lot over the past six months. They're a really good short. You can literally wear these in the pool. They dry out fast, and you can wear them to a bar at, the, at night. You could actually wear these with a button up, and they look good. They're real tailored and streamlined. You can see me wearing them here. Um, they just look really, really good. They have them in a couple of colors, but for this case, I'm going to stick with a black. I think everybody looks good in black swim trunks. And yeah, so you don't want to, you want to avoid the real baggy, um, like board shorts and things of that nature. Stick to a nice streamlined short that can take you from the water straight to a bar and you still don't look sloppy. So that's going to be item number one, the versatile swim trunk. Just avoid the baggy one. All right, so item number two is going to be a lightweight button up and i'm saying button up because it's a little different for the beach this can be short or long sleeve um you want to keep it a lighter material like a lightweight cotton maybe a um a linen just some sort of lightweight material now the thing you want to do here is normally i would tell you to go really fitted but when you're going to like a tropical climate the you're going to be hot so it's going to be sticking to you and the tighter your clothes fit the more you're going to be sweating so you want to avoid that and also if you tend to sweat a lot avoid grays like the one i'm wearing in this video because you're going to show pit stains you're going to show sweat stains and you don't want that darker colors um if you're tend to heavily sweat but if you're an average guy you don't sweat that much just i would go with like an oxford blue and you could go with like a a um a light a white you could go with a uh, light red like a maroon doesn't matter just pick your choice whatever you want but the reason I say go with the lightweight button up is because you could actually put this on over and wear it with the swim trunks like you can see me doing in this in this video. And it creates a more of an upscale look yet still comfortable. You leave the button up all open and hanging out and it's got some wrinkles in it so it's not real put together. But it's still better than just throwing on <clears throat> like a tank top or a t-shirt and things of that nature. It gives you that little more elevated style. So that's going to wrap up number two. And you could also do some other, like I said, some other colors. You can do a lightweight chambray material. Doesn't really matter. Just grab one or two that you can wear while you're on the uh, heading to the beach. Throw it on because most guys are going to have their shirts off anyways, getting a tan. And it just gives you that elevated luxury look and makes you stand out from the average chumps just wearing like the, you know, the tank tops and the wife beaters and things of that nature. You want to avoid that at all costs. All right, item number three is actually going to be a tank top. I know I just talked a little crap about tank tops, but that's just like the wife beater types and the ones that aren't very fashionable and stylish. Stylish. If you're kind of not for wearing like the button up or the short sleeve button up when you go to the water, that's where a nice tank top will come in handy. And this one's just from H&M. It's a black one. It's got the contrast pocket. 
It's uh, slim fitting, but it's still a little bit loose. You can buy these a little bigger and just be real comfortable in them. But don't wear these like if you're going out at night or if you're going to like a beach bar. That's where like the, the long sleeve, the button up or the short sleeve button up comes in real handy because it just gives you that elevated look. And you could always throw the button up on over top of this if it gets chilly as well. So that's the tank top. That's item number three. All right, so versatile item number four for warm weather packing, and that's going to be the loafer. Now, I'm going to bring actually two pairs of loafers to my trip to the Keys. Number one being the swims. I know you guys have heard me talk about these guys. They're really, really good for I can wear these in the water. I can wear them on the sand. I can wear them in the, you know, on the beach, whatever. They get wet, they dry real quick, and they still look really, really um, upscale, classy, and just give you a really elevated look. But for going out at night, um, I probably want to change to more of a contemporary loafer, and that's where the driving shoe comes in. And these are just a black penny loafer. I got these from Bachelor Shoes. They actually don't make these anymore, but there's a lot of other companies that have a very similar shoe to this. And that's either one of these. I'm probably going to rock this during the day and this at night. Keeps it simple, nothing crazy. I could get in any bar wearing this, you know, and I could still get in any bar wearing this, but it just looks a little more classy, a little more elegant, and just kind of dresses the look up just a tad to where you don't look, you know, like you walked off the beach. And that's the thing. You want to look comfortable and relaxed, but don't want to look like you've been at the beach all day and you haven't changed. So that's that. That's going to be item versus item number four. Now we're going to go on to number five. And that is going to be the basic polo. And this one here is from Express. It's a stretch fit. I really like these polos. Really lightweight. Nothing too crazy about them. They look good on a lot of different body types. But the polo is good for when you're going out at night. If you don't want to wear the button up, you just throw on the, the polo. It's got short sleeves. It's nice and cool. And at night, it's usually not as hot during the day. So you can get away with wearing a little more slimmer fit stuff depending on where you're at. Um, but yeah, the polo is a great choice. I always tend to revert to black. That's just my habit. But the lighter colors are going to maybe keep you a little cooler. You can go with a light blue, a navy, a white. Um, I just tend to revert to black. I don't know. That's just me. And cool. And you want to have the collar kind of open. Normally, I would button it all the way up. But if it's going to be real hot, you kind of want to be relaxed. You're on vacation. You're letting loose. That's versus item number five, the polo. All right. Versus item number six is going to be... Regular shorts. I tend to, uh, you can go chinos here, you can go denim. Totally up to you, whatever you want. But for my case, I'm going to go with these nice, broken in, faded, comfortable black. Well, they used to be black. They, black. They've been washed so many times, they're now gray. But these are like a real comfortable short. And if I wear this with a button up, if I wear this with the uh, my polo, it's it'll get me into any type of beach bar, anything like that, and anything that's going to get me on a tropical resort or anything. I don't have to worry about dress codes, but it still looks presentable. It looks really, really, whatever you want to call it, it just looks dope, and it will elevate you above all the other guys that are in the bar wearing their tank tops and board shorts and things of that nature. So that's it for, I think I'm versatile. I know I've, I'm fucking up all these numbers, but there's 10 items, I swear. So stay with me. Here's the next item. All right, back up. I, I believe we're on versatile item number seven, and that is going to be sunglasses. These are a must, not only to protect your eyes, but to make you look cool. Um, I'm always a big fan of the Ray-Ban Justins. I like them. They're cool. And if you saw my other video with the, uh, the shade tree with the wooden sunglasses, now is the time to break out the wooden sunglasses. Um, just swap back and forth, whatever, but just have a good pair of sunglasses and keep your eyes protected because not only do they look good, they're functional and they protect your eyes from the sun. And for most cases, wherever you're going, you probably can't see shit if you're looking up and you don't have glasses on. All right, next up, we got item number eight to start rounding off this top 10 list. That is going to be t-shirts. You can't not bring t-shirts. Um, these are from Express. I really like them. I got a blue one. I got a black one. I like to take the time if I'm going to go on vacation to maybe go grab some fresh tees from the store. I mean, you get these two for 30 um, if you go to H&M, they have for even cheaper than that. They have for like six bucks a piece. Just grab a couple fresh ones. It's vacation. Splurge a little bit so you look fresh when you're there. But you can't go on a trip without t-shirts. And this with the um, with some shorts and even with your swim trunks, if you've got the Miles Apparel or some nice tailored ones, they look really good. They still look put together. And then you're going to pop it off with a nice pair of loafers or driving shoes. And you still look dressed up but comfortable, weather appropriate, and like a boss. All right, now I'm back with item number nine to round out this top 10 list, and that's going to be a comfortable pair of sneakers. Now, I would just say don't bring these and just wear the driving loafers or the or the you know the swims loafers or the you know the moccasins, whatever. But I know that some places you go, you're going to do a lot of walking. You may even do some hiking. You're gonna to need to protect your feet. And that is where, you know, as you guys know, I'm not a big fan of sneakers, so this is a little out of my comfort zone to even recommend it to you. 
that is where I would say grab a nice pair of comfortable classic all white sneakers. They're very summer appropriate. These are Converse Chuck 2s. I wear them quite a bit. They're probably the only sneaker that I still tend to wear other than my Nike Flynets when I go to the gym. But other than that, these don't get much wear except for when it's like I'm going to be on my feet all day. And if you're walking around a lot, you don't want to be doing it in driving shoes because they're just not – your feet will start to hurt. They're not meant for long periods of walking. So that's where these will come in handy. So if you're going in somewhere where you got to do a lot of walking, you're going to do some shopping, maybe you're going to be doing like – you know, zip lining or hiking or riding motorcycles or on sand dunes, whatever. It's always good to have a nice pair of Converse. And I prefer the high top over the low top. I just think it looks cooler. Um, you can go low top if you want. That's completely up to you. But the white does keep it very summery. So that's that. Now we're going to wrap it up with item number 10. All right. So item number 10 is going to be what you put this all in a nice bag. Now, for a lot of you guys, I know that you're dealing with some budgets and you're not, you know, you can't buy super nice stuff. The best duffel bag I've ever seen, and I do recommend a duffel. I'm not a big fan of the rolling bags. I think you're a man, you should carry your bag, and you shouldn't pack too much stuff to where it's heavy. So with that said, um, my favorite bag is Herschel Supply. They make some really good duffel bags, as you see. Um, this is Tampa to Miami. Um, it's big enough that you can carry it on. If you have to check it, it's still protected. It's just a really good duffel bag. I think this thing was like 75 bucks. And I got this one from Nordstrom's. They have a lot of colors, but a basic black one will do really good for you. Other than that, you can get a nice leather duffel bag. Um, they're expensive, though, for a nice one. You're looking anywhere from two to $500, and you can even go up in the thousands. But that's an investment type of piece. But for most of you guys that don't travel all the time, and you know, you're traveling just like every couple months for work or for, uh, you know, for vacation, the Herschel duffel bag is awesome. So yeah, that is going to wrap it up. So that's going to wrap it up for my top 10 like warm weather uh, packing guide or whatever you want to call it. But this is the exact stuff that I'm taking with me to the Keys for a couple day trip. And like I said, if you're going to go longer or shorter, pack accordingly. But the best thing I can recommend you do is actually look through and figure out the weather. Think about and try to figure out what you're going to be doing while you're there. And then just pack for those specific things. That way you're not overpacking. That way you have enough stuff and you can get through any occasion. The only thing that I didn't include in this is a going out outfit. Now, like I said, this is actually what I'm bringing with me to the Keys. All the bars that I've been there before, I know it. There's no dress codes at any of the bars. So it's like I know that I can wear shorts and a button-up, a shorts and a T-shirt and loafers, and I can get in anywhere. If I was going to like Miami or something like a, a Vegas pool party and then Vegas at night, then you're going to want to have like at least one or two, like a nice outfit for going out, um, being like denim, maybe some nice dress shoes or some boots, you know, or you can double up your loafers for that. But you're going to want to have, the, you know, something to wear when you're going out. So keep that in mind if you're going to the club or anything of that nature. So yeah, that's going to wrap it up. That is my actual packing list for my trip to the Keys. I hope you guys got some enjoyment out of that and some knowledge. Um, give this video some <clears throat> likes, some thumbs ups, you know, comment on maybe if I miss anything that you guys don't normally take when you're going to like warm weather trips. But I've gotten pretty good at this because I live in Florida and I'm used to it being hot as hell. So yeah, that's it for this video. Talk to you guys later. Peace. Yo, what's up guys? I know I just dropped a ton of value on you and there's a lot of information in this video on what you can do for your next warm weather trip. But if you haven't yet, if you're new to Team Handsome Guy and it's the first video you've seen or you just don't know about all my stuff, check the links in the description box below. I got a lot of free stuff in there, a lot of stuff that, I, that I've that i released, some products. You can get that if you want. If not, just check it out. Everything is in the link below. I also have a badass Facebook group with almost 4,000 members right now. That's a link below. Join it, join the community. Can't wait to have you a member of Team Handsome Guy. Peace.